Welcome to Outside with Clyde and the video from days 5, 6, and 7 of our 11-day trip into Quetico Provincial Park in August of 2023. On the morning of Friday, August 4th, we left our campsite on Shade Lake and continued up the S-chain paddling and portaging through noon, summer, sultry, and silence lakes, and finally into Agnes Lake, where we camped for two nights. We intended to relocate after two nights to the southern end, uh, but we did explore a little bit and fished, did catch a nice walleye, which we had for dinner. Then um, on uh, the Sunday, August the 6th, we packed up camp and went to relocate to the southern end of Agnes, but couldn't find an open campsite near Louisa Falls, so we decided to take on uh, the long portages into Sunday Lake. Those portages are stated as 141 and 195 rods, um, which is about 1.05 miles with my Garmin. One way I measured 1.15 miles and it took us three hours doing three passes on each portage. Okay, we're gonna do a drive by the camp where we landed and oh, it was windy. Name of this lake, Noon Lake. I guess Loon was taken. Well, we expect rain tonight, a good part of the morning tomorrow. So we've got our firewood set for tonight and we need for tomorrow. You can see most of this is beaver wood. We hardly had to get out of the canoe to get this stuff. It's all dry. That's the more typical 
wood you got to haul out of the bush that was here in the previous campers it's all punky and it burns terrible snappy this stuff will burn hot and clean i'm a convert thanks to Stu of the boundary waters journal also still using Yagawa Canyon Boreal 21 saw holding up pretty good I did get a replacement set of the, these pins in case they get lost break come out really nice keeps it enclosed all one together it's great for carrying the other thing we brought this time is this SOG or SOG hatchet so maybe it'd be good in a battle it's good for digging poop holes cutting the roots but it doesn't split worth a damn it's too thin I never have problems with my feet and I wore my new Tiva sandals that's like a day of wearing them with wet feet now I've had a bandage on for a couple days and some uh, antibiotic ointment got me in all the hot spots won't be wearing those anymore and there's the culprits that destroyed my feet down as soon as he sees the boat. Mm -hmm. oh, it's, a big, it's a big walleye. Oh, it is. Yep. Oh. Nice job. <laughs> it's a walleye. Wow. You're going to have some good eating tonight. What am I doing with it? Just holding on to it? Yep. Yeah. Here it is, Agnes. Walleye. Just a small eater. Caught with Christine. Nineteen and a half. Homemade dehydrated red sauce with homemade dehydrated ground venison with penne noodles. We're cooking the penne noodles right in the sauce to save a pot. Lake Agnes Walleye caught today. Didn't put a spot for oil in. That one's done. That one's done. 
Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh my God. Is it good? Yeah. That is delicious. Best fish ever. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Homemade dehydrated pasta sauce, red sauce, dehydrated venison, and on the bottom, last piece of the walleye. Eight o'clock, Sunday morning, almost, almost ready. Canoe's half loaded, a couple more bags and two people. This is our Agnes Lake campsite. This is the shoreline where we loaded and unloaded. That's facing south down the lake. And that's where we get our stairs in. It's another 15 feet, maybe 20 of elevation up to camp. So the south view is blocked with trees. But we can see west. Fireplace. Some firewood for the next traveler. And there's the campsite. We had our tent back here. We could probably put three or four tents in this site. Nice spot back in there. And you could put a tent here. You can go over that ridge and it's all heavy brush on the other side. You could put one, maybe two tents back here. Definitely one. Yeah, that's the path back into the woods and the latrine. So a pretty nice sight actually. That's it. We're just packing up, almost ready to load. Good morning. It's time to move. Beaver Lodge right there. Mm. Nope. No, it's just rock. Just a pile of rocks. Pardon? You're already going? the 790 meter 
leg. Second leg. Almost a kilometer. how good this is going to feel to get this behind us. It's going to feel good when we get this behind us. Yep. Very good. <laughs> yes it is. Oh, this beats. This beats a road back here with a bunch of cottages. there yet? <laughs> Thank you. You work here. Thank you. You're welcome. Give you a chance to stretch. <laughs> Get sore. See lake. Let's take a break. Let's see lake. Well, I felt like a kilometer, a kilometer. 
200 rods. It, downhill. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a nasty downhill, but it's downhill. Sunday, August 6th, yep, on Sunday Lake. And we just got on the camp and set up in time to get the tarp up and then the storm hit. Now we're cooking dinner. It was a long day. Chicken Alfredo pasta something or other. We're hungry. It's a long day. We did a 700 meter and 1,000 meter portages, 1.7 total, which is a mile, and we're very hungry, and we're going to eat. Mmm, that is good. <laughs> 